City Cupcakes, and we are making alcohol-infused frosting. So tell me a little bit about this, and what can we use them for? They could basically be topped on any baked goods. Um, you could use them on cakes, cookies, obviously cupcakes, or even use them as a dip for fruit. Ooh, I love that. And if you want to make boozy frostings at home, it's really simple to make. All you really need is 16 ounces of cream cheese, one and a half cups of powdered sugar, a quarter cup of dry milk, and three teaspoons of your favorite alcohol. And how do we make it? So you just want to mix your cream cheese until it's smooth. Then you add in your dry ingredients, and lastly, your alcohol to top it off. And then you want to mix that and make sure it's really creamy and aerated. Put that into a piping bag, and then top your favorite dessert with it. And hopefully, they'll turn out as beautiful as these. <laughs> now, let's you. talk about these cupcakes. They're beautiful, and they're made with melon-infused frosting. What was your inspiration behind that? So these cupcakes are the official pop sugar cupcakes made by Sin City Cupcakes. We wanted to create something fun, unique, and tasty to celebrate how great pop sugar is, of course. So this is a champagne cake infused with a kiwi vodka filling. And then we also have a melon-infused frosting on top. Yum. And actually, I wanted to talk to you about some of the unusual pairings that we've been seeing and all the trends in food right now. We have some really great infused vodkas from Van Gogh, peanut butter and jelly, pomegranate, and I have some up here. What have you been seeing at Sin City? What are people really wanting? Well, one of our most popular cupcakes right now is the Russian Climax, and that's a Kahlua cake made with an espresso vodka filling. And um, another trend that we've been seeing at the company that's been really popular with customers as well is utilizing a champagne cake and pairing it with some sort of fruit. So I see you have a peach vodka here, so that would be wonderful inside of a champagne cake and maybe with some fresh fruit as garnish Ooh. on top. Yeah, I love that. So really, I guess the best tip is when you are making these boozy frostings at home, try to pair them like your favorite cocktail. I cannot wait to experiment with this at home. Lisa, thank you so much for being here.